Yes, the topic is epicycloid. Consider the question when a circle of diameter 44 mm rolls outside of another circle of 160 mm, draw the path traced by a point on the rolling circle. Also, draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So, basically, what is epicycloid? Consider a circle called as a rolling circle. This blue color one is called as rolling circle. And on the circumference of the rolling circle, a point P is marked. And one more circle is taken called as a directing circle or a base circle. This gray color, silver color is called as fixed circle, otherwise called as directing circle or base circle. So this is a fixed circle, bigger one is a fixed circle of considered di diameter of the fixed circle as 160 mm and the rolling circle of diameter 44 mm. This blue color one as a rolling circle. And when I place a rolling circle over the fixed circle outside, that is an outside of a bigger circle or the fixed circle, the rolling circle goes to roll clockwise. I so say when it rolls, the P point changes its position every time. When it rolls in clockwise, the rolling circle, blue color. When it rolls outside of this uh, circle, under the circle, so the P point, if it continues, continuously look onto this point P, it changes its position every time as, as it rolls. And for one complete revolution of the rolling circle, and the point P is traced every time when it rolls, and the curve generated is called as epicycloid. And for better understanding, consider. Now we are going to trace the plate. This is a fixed circle. This fixed circle called as directing or base circle. Called as directing or base circle. It gives direction to the movement of rolling circle. So it's called a directing. or base circle which is fixed, fixed, not, uh, it will not move and the rolling circle is placed outside of this directing circle is the, point, the point of contact is P, that P is provided and when the rolling circle rolls for a certain distance, x distance, consider it rolls in clockwise like this. When it rolls, and the point P would have changed its position. Initially it was at here, and when it rolls, the point P would have moved to a new position. So it will have moved to this point, say P. And further of after revolution of revolution of the rolling circle when it rolls like this, it will have reached a point at here. So this is the extreme point. That is also more the P point. The same point it changes its position every time when it rolls continuously. And further of revolution. That is that now it completes one revolution, so it occupies this position, the point which is marked on the circumference of the rolling circle. So this is marked as P dash, the final end point. Initially this it was at here, and finally it reaches after one complete revolution at this P dash. And if you continuously continuously trace this position of the point P as it rolls clockwise over the fixed circle called as directing circle. A curve generated is called as epicycloid of a circle or simply epicycloid. The curve generated is called as epicycloid of epicycloid. Epi means outer. So, outer it, it forms a curve that is epicycloid. Hypo means inside. So, as in this case, the cycle rolls outside of another circle. That is, outside there is a contact takes place between the rolling circle and the directing circle. So, it's called as epicycloid. Ep means outer or outside. And hypo, there is one more cycle called hypocycloid. Hypo means inside or inner. 
inside inside or inner so for drawing perfectly drawing this curve called the epicycloid we are going to follow the procedure using the drawing instruments so take the rolling circle as the diameter given as 44 mm radius will be half of that 44 divided by 2 will be 22 mm so take 22 mm take in your compass This is center of the circle is marked as O. This circle is called as rolling circle. And one more circle called as outer circle. That is a fixed circle diameter is given as 60 mm. So half of that will be the radius 80. 160 divided by 2 will be 80 mm. Take it in a compass. This diagrams due to insufficient uh, space available so now keeping the rolling circle anywhere on the rolling circle in contact with the rolling circle in touching with the rolling circle draw a circle called as directing circle anywhere you can touch here or here let me touch this touches the rolling circle at this point so in contact with the rolling circle draw and draw a circle called as directing circle which is a fixed circle and this is a point of contact. It's marked as say O dash. Now the center of the rolling circle is O and the center of the directing circle, fixed circle is marked as O dash. And now you join O and O dash by free hand scale or by using draft scale. This can be done. And now a simple calculation is to be worked out for this. So angle, angle theta, theta equal to radius of the rolling circle divided by radius of the directing circle. So radius, radius of rolling circle. Divided by radius of directing circle one multiplied with 360 degree that is total angle in the circle is 360 degree so multiplied with 360 degree so under substitution radius of the rolling circle is given as this is diameter 44 44 divided by 2 will be 22 mm so 22 divided by radius of the directing circle, that is fixed circle, 160, 160 divided by 2 will be 80 mm, radius you have to substitute, 80, multiplied with 360, total angle in the circle is 360, and on, uh, we get, uh, uh, when you calculate using calculator, you may get 99 degree. So this 99 degree is, is called the angle, called as a sector angle. Uh, which I'm going to mark it using comp protector. So this is zero degree line. This is base of the protector is marked as zero degree. So this is center of the protector. Keep your protector in coincides with O dash. That is uh, center of the directing circle. So now I'm going to mark this 99 degree. So this will be your zero degree line. Before that, this will be zero degree line with this as reference. Now, after keep locating the center point with the center of the protector, mark 99 degree, that is, which is less than 100. So, it, it is rate like this, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
100, before 100, uh, one division before 100 will be 99 degree. Put a point on that. And before that, let me erase due to insufficient space. And students are advised to work out this calculation, simple calculation on the side of the drawing should need not to be erased. So take your free hand scale, join the mark angle that is 99 degree, join that point, put a point marked using protector with the word dash. And further you extend the line like this. Now this angle is included angle is 99 degree, which is called as a sector angle. Needed to construct a cycloid for the diameter of the rolling circle as uh, 44 mm and fixed circle as radius as per the dimensions given. So this angle is marked as 99 degree. So next step is I'm going to divide the sector 99 degree and the circle rolling circle into equal number of parts. Say 8 parts, 8 or 12 parts we can divide usually. I'm going to follow eight parts. That means the circle, rolling circle, and the sector, the 99 degree sector, is divided into equal number of parts. It may be eight parts or 12 parts. So let me mark eight parts. So before that, the circle, firstly, I'm going to divide the circle, rolling circle, into eight number of parts. This circle is called as rolling circle. So I'm going to put a name for this rolling circle. And this is a part of a directing circle. Called as directing circle. Now, place the center of the protector over this point, the center of the rolling circle. Just to place like this and mark 45 degree. The total angle circle is 360. So this should be 0 degree line. This is a starting line. 0, 10, 20, put a point on 45 degree. 45. 45 plus 90. 45 plus another 45 is 90. 90 plus 45, 135. Put a point. So join these points with the center of the rolling circle using free and scale. Now we extend on the other side of the circle also with the same by the using free hand scale. Just to extend, keeping over these lines, just to extend. So now the circle has been divided into eight equal parts. So when the circle rolls in this direction clockwise, like this, so this will be marked as as it rolls like this clockwise. So this will be marked as one. Say one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the contact point between the circle and the fixed circle is minus letter P. This is the contact point P and this is maybe the end point. After rotating rolling for one complete revolution of the rolling circle, minus P dash. So P, P dash. Now 99 has to be divided into 8 equal parts. So 99 divided by 8 will be 99 divided by 8 we may get to 12.3 degree. So this has to be done. That is 12.3, 12.3 like this. 8 times we have to split this 99 sector, 99 angle sector. So take your, take your protector. So keeping the center of the protector over this O dash, put a point for 9, 12.3 degree. So marking this 12.9, 12.3 is 10, 0, 10 degrees provided. 10 after 10, some two divisions is marked. And that may be 13.3 degree. Now join this marked point with O dash. 
that is the fastest division. So this will be approximately 1912.3 degree. Again marking 12.3, 12.3 takes more time. So therefore we follow a procedure for this. So just to take the distance. Whatever distance is given, taken it here, available at here. This is the first marked division. So same division can be marked up to P dash. So then we may see whether it comes to 8 parts or not. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See 8 points. So slightly the error is there. This is a small part has been uh, remaining. So we, we have to just see it increases uh, the first part. Just by increasing its apartment, it can be adjusted. So just I'm increasing the first segment. So now before that I have to erase the marked points. So this is a method available. We have to follow this. One or two degree variations may be accepted. So same, just I increase the value. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just one degree small variation. So that is accepted. Okay. Now the angle P O P dash P O dash P dash. The angle P, O dash, and P dash has been divided into 8 equal parts. So those points are marked as say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8th point will be the P dash point. Now you join all those points with the center of the directing circle, that is O dash. So all these lines are works are carried out using H pencil or 2H pencil. To H is preferable. But final curve can be drawn done by using drawn by using a HB pencil. Looks darker. So these are called the radial lines. That is the marked points are joined with the center of the directing circle called O dash. So now take your compass. So now the circle, so far we have done this, the, the circle and the sector angle has been divided into the same number of parts. Here 8 parts means the sector also divided into 8 equal parts. Now you draw arc, several arcs. Passing